So today I'm going to be showing you the Greenworks 24 volt 10 inch saw. One unique feature about this saw is it doesn't have your typical screw in here for uh, tightening the chain. It's all built into this uh, gizmo here. So loosening this up will both take off the cover plate. I'll show you here. So here you can see this is the drive for the chain. This is your bar connects. This is where it will tighten the, the bar by moving it out or in. And then here there's a mechanism to do that. So make sure everything is kind of lined up. Your chain is going to be going in to the groove of the bar. We'll put this back on. Start to tighten it down. Again, make sure your chain is lined up there. So when you start tightening it down, it will start to get some tension on the chain right there. So the trick with this is, see once it starts to go in, is to keep constant pressure on this when you're turning it. Don't let it loose because it will keep uh, dropping the tension down. So keep uh, and to always keep make sure it's staying in the groove right there. So keep that constant pressure as you tighten this down and it won't go any further. Put down for lock and then you see so you got Good tension there. Only oh, pulls away a little less than a quarter inch when you pull on it. When it starts to heat up, chain will loosen a little bit, and they say in the manual, make sure it's not over a sixteenth of an inch uh, sag right in the middle there. Of course, do that without the battery connected. All this chain tightening and taking off the plate. One thing about this saw, your typical gas-powered ones. Um, this will be a saw stop and a guard, so if you push forward, it will lock the chain down and instantly stop it. This is just a guard. It does not stop the chain. And uh, when you are throttling it up, it will be, um, when you let go of the throttle, it will continue to spin. Uh, initially when it's not warmed up, it won't spin that much. But uh, I'll show you here. So there's a, about a second there. When it's warmed up, then the chain's a little bit looser. There'll probably be two or three seconds there, which would give you a nasty cut if you bump into it after you let go of the throttle. So be careful. So this saw comes with a uh, two amp hour, 24 volt battery. And it goes in right in the back here. Just as such, sits well, has good clearance, blade has clearance, not shoved in the ground or anything. So larger batteries, this is a five amp hour battery here, and it will fit in nicely, and the saw sits nicely as well. On the other side here, you have the uh, oil reservoir. And uh, simply just the green tab here will pop up and you can screw it, open it up. And you want to fill this with bar and chain oil and that will keep your chain uh, lubed up so it will last you a good long time. One thing to note too on uh, the bigger gas cells, you'll have uh, you know metal teeth here for gripping the wood. Here it's just plastic. It is a little tiny saw um, and uh, it's very lightweight. So uh, let's fill it up with oil and we'll do some testing uh, on the saw, cutting some wood. So we'll be cutting this uh, 
branch right here. It's about a six inch branch right at the base of the tree. And I got a little saw cam on here. And we're using a 10 inch 24 volt Greenworks saw with the two amp hour battery. We're gonna do this cut and then we'll do a bunch of slices and see how far this two amp hour battery will go. Let's get started. to a uh, different location and do some slicing and see where we get. All right, and continue just slicing away and see how far this uh, two amp battery will go. There you go. Looks like, it, looks like it's starting to give up. We'll see if we can get through one more. Looks like it's dead. Some of the batteries I'm used to them blinking a little bit. Um, this one just shows no bars at all. Here's a charger. I was just gonna show you. It doesn't register any uh, bars of for uh, charge, but uh, right now it shows it's overheated with a solid uh, red light. So we'll let that cool down for a half hour or so and see what it uh, what it says. So we have uh, 5, 10, 15 plus 4 is 19 and we have the initial cut on the tree. So that's a total of 20 cuts and it ranged from uh, 6 inches on the large side down all the way. The smallest one was a 5 inch cut. So you can see the uh, chain oil kind of on the uh, bar right there. It's a little greasy, but uh, that's expected. Also, you can see the uh, oil reservoir in there. Using one two amp 24 volt battery, there's still plenty of oil in the reservoir. I'm going to cut a five inch dried out eucalyptus log. It's probably been sitting around for 10 years. Very dry, very hard. Of course, it will uh, dull your chain a lot quicker. But I just want to see how this 10 inch Greenworks saw will uh, cut through dried wood. Yeah. 
have it. Does pretty well on dried out logs as well. So uh, I let it cool off for about 20 minutes here. Still shows no bars for charge. And now it's uh, not saying it's overheated, it's charging now. And the charger runs at 48 watt hours. The battery's just over 43 watt hours. So they should be able to charge this battery in just under an hour. So that's it for the Greenworks 10 inch 24 volt saw. Hope you enjoyed the, this review and testing of the saw. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks, bye.